So you may have been hearing a lot lately about temperature controlled sleeping, where you can improve your sleep quality by optimizing the temperature of your bed. And I'm not just talking about making your bed warmer or anything like that. I'm actually talking about regulating temperatures all throughout the night for temperatures that help you fall asleep, temperatures that promote deep sleep, as well as temperatures that align with different sleep stages. And for those of you who are really interested in life hacking, you may have been hearing about this concept on podcasts like the Huberman Lab, as well as Tim Ferriss, both of which I'm a pretty big fan of, by the way. And that's what this product is all about right here. So this is the Pod 3 from 8sleep, and this is a mattress cover that goes over your existing mattress, which regulates temperatures all throughout the night, which can help promote better sleep. But not only that, how many of you out there don't like wearing a watch or wearable to bed because you may find it uncomfortable, but you still want to track your sleep time, your sleep stages, your sleeping heart rate, as well as your HRB or heart rate variability? Well, the Pod 3 actually does all that too. So before we get into the Pod 3 itself, let's talk about sleep in general, especially from the perspective of this channel, because I know many of you out there are probably interested in improving your fitness, increasing your sports performance, as well as optimizing your health. And a big part of all of that is getting good sleep. Sleep is absolutely vital, as is the time our bodies need to rest and recover and be ready for the next day. But for all of us who also work out, it's even more important because it's the time our body shifts its resources to repairing all the tissues and cells that we've damaged with all our workouts. But sleep isn't just about the amount of time that we sleep, which is important, but it's also about the quality of our sleep in terms of getting the right balance of sleep phases, as well as getting enough deep sleep. As a population, we are all now getting less sleep than any other point in the last century with an astoundingly low average of 6.8 hours a night. And 35% of the population is actually sleep deprived. And if that's the case, sleep quality is really important. And for me, I have had historically bad sleep. So if you look at any of my past watch or wearable reviews, you'll probably notice some really horrifying sleep scores. And those are very much a reflection of the quality of sleep that I get. I've kind of gotten used to it over the years, but it is certainly not ideal. And I know what I have more focused throughout my day and I'd probably perform better for my workouts if I got better sleep. So when 8sleep reached out to me to see if I wanted to try out the Pod 3, I was certainly game. And 8sleep is sponsoring this video, by the way, but just like all my videos, I'll be telling you what I like about it and what I think could be improved. And this video is more of a first impressions of the Bot 3 because I've only been using it for a few weeks, but I did want to share my thoughts on it. And then I definitely want to have a follow-up video in a few months to let you know my long-term thoughts on whether the Pod 3 has truly helped my sleep quality. So make sure to subscribe to get a notification when that video comes out. So first things first, let's go over the setup and what this thing is all about in terms of the hardware, if you will. So the first thing we need to do is install the cover, which will protect your mattress. You can install the Pod 3 cover either on top of your existing mattress pad, or you can install it directly on your mattress, which is what I chose to do. The Pod 3 comes in a couple different configurations and sizes, and the one they sent me was the king size Pod 3 cover with the perfect fit option, which they say fits all mattresses. My mattress is about 12 inches thick, and there was more than enough material on the sides to cover my mattress without having to stretch it at all. And then once you do get it all situated on there, you're going to want to attach these straps, which we'll use in just a bit to snug up the mattress, and they have these straps for both the sides as well as the top and the bottom. Now we need to install the active grid, and this is really where all the magic happens. Well, you know what I'm saying. But the active grid contains both the cooling and heating system, as well as a bunch of sensors inside for sleep tracking. And you'll place the hoses that are attached to the active grid at the head of your bed so it's kind of out of the way, and make sure there's no kinks or anything like that as it's draping over. And then next we need to securely attach the active grid to the cover, and how it does this is using built-in zippers, which is kind of neat. After that, we'll go ahead and snug up these straps that we attached earlier, and as you can see, once it's tightened up, it's pretty much seamless with your existing mattress. Now we need to hook up the hub, which contains all the smart for the entire system, as well as contains the reservoir for all the water that will be used inside the active grid for temperature regulation. And this is just as easy as attaching the hose from the active grid to the hub in the back, and then we plug it in. And now that the system is all turned on, we need to hop over the smartphone app to set up our sleep preferences. The first thing you want to choose is what kind of temperature you typically prefer your mattress to be in when you sleep. And since weather can play a role in temperature, it also will ask your permission to access local weather. And then what it'll do is kind of just show you an illustration of what it's going to do on your first night's sleep on the Pod 3, where it'll start out at a lower temperature and then gradually raise the temperature over the course of the night. But that lower temperature when you first get into bed is supposed to help you fall asleep as well as get into deep sleep. And then it'll shift to a higher temperature for REM later on in the night. You'll then set your typical bedtime, so this is where it'll start regulating temperature about an hour before you go to bed, so it's not doing any heating or cooling during non-sleeping hours. Then you can set your wake-up time, and you can repeat this on whichever days that you wish. And here's another thing that's kind of neat. The Pod 3 also has two different ways to wake you up, and these are optional, where you can choose to either have a temperature alarm where it'll raise the temperature, or a vibration alarm. At this point, you can then send an invitation to your partner if you happen to share your bed, and they'll be sent an invite where they can go through the same setup process. But if you sleep solo, you can just set up the Pod 3 for yourself, whether you sleep on just that one side of the bed or if you'd like to use the entire bed. Next up, we need to add the water to the entire system, and this is a multi-stage process where you'll basically prime the system with a combination of distilled water and hydrogen peroxide. 
And there's three different stages of those priming procedures and each one takes about 90 to 95 minutes. So you definitely don't want to set up your pod three in the evening. Try to set up in the morning or midday just to get enough time for those priming procedures so you can actually use your pod three that evening. But overall, the setup process really isn't that bad where it's not only the cover, the active grid, as well as the hub. That stuff maybe takes about 40 minutes and then you have the priming procedure. And then after you do that, you just basically make your bed as you normally would and you're ready for your first night's sleep. And from my personal experience of using the pod three in terms of starting out the night with cooler temperatures and then the temperature raising slowly throughout the night. Well, it certainly took me a few nights to get used to, but it's something that I actually really look forward to, especially hopping into a little bit cooler bed. Has it drastically improved my sleep quality? I can't say that necessarily quite yet, but I can say that it has helped. Now, even though for me, I tend to prefer cooler temperatures when I first start out the night, this is all completely customizable. So you could very well have a cool bed all throughout the night. You could have a warm bed all throughout the night or anywhere in between. And what's also neat about this entire system is that they also have an autopilot feature that can automatically make adjustments to the temperature of your bed, which can dynamically adjust temperatures throughout the night based on what's going on with that night's sleep, how your body's responding to temperatures, as well as even room temperatures. So like here, it lowered the temperature slightly using the autopilot feature, likely due to the fact that I was having a hard time falling asleep. And other than optimizing your sleep with automatic temperature regulation, another benefit of the Pod 3 is that in the winter, you could totally hop into a nice cozy bed, or in the summer, you could have a nice cool bed to hop into. And this could be especially beneficial if you don't have air conditioning in your room, because at any time, you can override the temperatures of the Pod 3. Now, the Pod 3 isn't just about regulating temperatures, though. It also has a bunch of built-in sensors in the active grid, which can track sleep metrics. And in terms of the sleep data that it provides, when you wake up, it'll give your sleep fitness score along with your HRV for that night and your sleeping heart rate. Your sleep fitness score is based on four factors. The time that it took you to fall asleep, the amount of time you slept, your wake consistency, which is how consistent the time is for when you wake up compared to the last seven days, as well as the time it took you to get out of bed once you woke up. And along with your sleep fitness score, they also provide you with a timeline down below for the time that you got into bed, the time that you fell asleep, as well as the time you woke up and the time that you got out of bed. And in that timeline, it also shows your sleep stages, and it also shows the percentage of time spent in each sleep stage. However, one thing I would like to see here is the actual time I spent in each sleep stage in addition to the percentage of time, but that's as easy as something as a firmware update. Now, in terms of the actual accuracy of the timeline here, although I did get into bed around 9 p.m., hey, it was kind of a long day, I didn't actually fall asleep until about 9.45. However, my wake time was absolutely spot on. And another thing I noticed is that I woke up from about 1 to 2 a.m., which it didn't necessarily seem to pick up. Now, another thing that's nice about the Pod 3 is that it also can detect naps, where on this day, I went back to bed for a quick nap, and it was spot on. However, I did notice that on this day, it said I took a nap, but I was actually up and about, and I didn't go back to bed, so I'm not exactly sure what went on there. So in terms of the sleep tracking, I'd say it does an okay job at the times I go to bed as well as the times I wake up, but I think some work could be done surrounding the times I spend awake throughout the night. However, the sleeping heart rate and heart rate variability, or HRV, those are actually very similar to the other devices that I'm wearing. And for me, those are actually very important metrics. And since the Pod 3 does track all this data, what's great about it is that it integrates with Apple Health as well as other wearable platforms like Polar, Garmin Connect, Aura, Whoop, and many others. So far, I have to say that I have been very much enjoying my experience with the Pod 3. Has it been a game changer in terms of like drastically improving my sleep? I can't necessarily say that at the moment, but I can definitely say that it's helped. And possibly by using the journal feature over a longer term to help identify other areas in my life that could be having an effect on my sleep, I'm eager to see how it can improve further. Anyhow, if you'd like to check out the Pod 3, 8sleep did give me a special coupon code, which I'll have linked down in the description below, which will save you a few bucks. And I do also want to give a special thanks to 8sleep for sponsoring this video. And if you have any questions about the Pod 3 that I didn't cover in this video, make sure to leave those in the comment section down below. And if you found the information in this video to be useful, also do me a favor and hit that like button. And also subscribe for my long-term thoughts on the Pod 3, which will be coming out a little bit later on the road. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.